Bristol City Council allegedly allowed a care worker to continue visiting patients at their home, even though they knew she had COVID-19. Gareth Williams from Bishopston accused the care services of flouting public health and putting his father at risk after they failed to inform him that his 92-year-old father's carer had tested positive for COVID-19. Gareth, a 48-year-old accountant, says that the family did not learn of the carer's positive test until she mentioned it to them during a care visit to his dad's home on January the 11th. He said, I can't imagine how the council morally could not report the case to us. If you've got clinically vulnerable people, if there's any question whatsoever, surely you have to report it. Gareth feels that his 92-year-old father, who is visited by two council carers three times a day, was put at risk by the council, which is now said to be investigating the complaint. Gareth said, On December 23rd, a carer came to my parents' house and as good as fainted, she had a funny turn and had to sit down. She was off work for five days and had a negative COVID test. She came back on December 28th and 29th. In that last visit, she had cold and flu symptoms. We later found out that she was known to be COVID positive on January the 1st. The council won't tell me exactly when the test was taken. For two weeks, my dad was plummeting down the cliff with his health. It started shortly after the carer had her funny turn, but it got a lot worse in January. Gareth said his dad was falling asleep in his food and suffering severe headaches with a cough, keeping him up at night. He said he had a whole list of COVID symptoms except for a high temperature. The ambulance came out once, we had a rapid response out twice, and district nurses a couple of times. The patient was not taken to hospital, but his condition was serious enough for the family to think that he could die. For two weeks, we were absolutely in a state of panic, said Gareth. My sister, who is a teacher in Hertfordshire, was talking about coming down to say goodbye to our father. On January the 11th, the carer returned to work and informed the family that she had just recovered from coronavirus. Gareth said his family was shocked at the revelation and that he hadn't been informed sooner. He added, if I'm an employer of someone who was COVID and works with vulnerable people, I would make sure track and trace is used. We had already ordered a COVID test for my dad, by that point, we had ordered a test on January the 10th. He did it the next day and got his results on January the 13th. Although the test taken came back negative, Gareth believes the test may have been a false positive or that his father had the virus before the test was carried out. But even if his father didn't have COVID-19, he still believes the council fouled him as they failed to inform the family of a potential infection. Gareth said that he called the council helpline as soon as he found out but was told that unless the team has an outbreak of more than two cases, it does not have a responsibility to tell anyone. And this is how serious COVID is, folks. The council don't believe they have to tell anyone. He said, I wasn't happy with that. I ended up being passed on to care services manager who said flatly that because the carer had been wearing a surgical mask and gloves, they didn't have to report the positive test. Unsatisfied by the response from the council, Gareth requested a copy of the care team's COVID policy. The manager told me she would get a copy of the policy to me that day, January 11th. I didn't get it. I managed to get hold of her two days later. She told me that because there was an update to the rules on January 11th, if there's a COVID case in the care team, the council will now report it to customers because the carers do not wear medical grade PPE. I said I still wanted a copy of the policy and I wanted this raised as a formal complaint. The manager then said, as it's now a formal complaint, I'm not going to give you the policy. Gareth added, when it comes to the claim that rules changed on J January the 11th, all the government said on that date was that PPE would be provided for free to care providers. I don't think they have a policy, and I think that's why they won't give it to me. The family say they do not have any complaint against the carer. They say the day-to-day -day care that was provided by her had been excellent. My issue is the senior management and the fear that they do not actually have a proper COVID plan in place. That they hide behind a complaints procedure and site data protection is deplorable in my opinion. The council spokesman said an investigation into the family's concern is ongoing. Adding, the COVID-19 pandemic has caused understandable anxiety for people across the city and is especially concerning for those families with vulnerable and elderly relatives who receive day-to-day -day care.
Throughout the pandemic, we have supported health and social care staff to ensure that they follow government guidance around mitigating the risks associated with the virus. So whether you believe in COVID or not, whether you believe it's as bad as being made out or not, it's always advisable to be on your toes when dealing with public services such as councils, as they fall under the same bracket as other public services or public servants. They all seem to feel that they have some kind of protection from the public, which I guess they do, as very few of them ever seem to be held accountable for their actions, or in this case, inactions. Big thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts as I know many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other, including your elderly loved ones, film the police and other officials.